Hey you guys and welcome to this video. I wanted to do a quick update on the messages that I've been given and the and the energies now. There's a lot going on on an individual level. There's a lot of clearing and there's a lot of uh, movement. Even though a lot of people they've been showing me doesn't feel the forward movement. They feel more like they're stuck in something old. It's just like a bit of a muddy feeling will I never end this cycle these kind of thoughts coming up what are showing me is that there's actually a massive forward movement so what's happening is that we're moving even more into the physicality for so it's a preparation for the autumn in an even bigger picture it is the evolution we're on consciousness uh, and preparing to to really hold and step into a new template which is also assisting those that are just starting to awaken because there's there will be a lot of people awakening in the coming months so the forward movement now even though it might not feel like it is like a a really deep clearing of the core wounds or the really old stuff or the deepest layers of it one of the main emotions they've been showing me coming up collectively is grief. So this can be grief uh, around someone you've lost for um, you know, years and years ago. It can be grief uh, around some kind of a dream that you were pursuing and that you now see that you're being directed. Uh, you're feeling called to go in another direction and it just didn't go as you were planning because you were planning something or looking at it maybe from an old thought pattern, maybe from an old structure that you now see and that you now have gained clarity of not being the path that you're going to walk. And so there can be this sense of, of grief or loss around what you were putting your energy into, even though you now see that it's not the right path. It can be a relationship that is shifting. It can uh, be, um, you know, people moving out of your life, or it can be just a, a chapter of your life which is ending. And it can be something physical that you're coming out of, and it can be a grief of the period that you have been in. Um, so grief doesn't mean that it has to be something negative that has happened. It can also be that sense of loss of something that was familiar, even though it is of our highest good, to move forward out of it um, and when we're talking about grief in the sense of losing someone uh, it is a healing process so the grief in and of itself is healing it's important of course not to get stuck in it but to allow the grief to move through the body is actually healing us from that loss um, so if you have like surges of these old emotions coming up, if you have anything around this at all moving through your body, just let it move through because it's coming up because it's, it's ready to be released. It's not because you're back where you were years ago or months ago. Um, it's actually preparing you for a forward movement because we're stepping into um, and sort of anchoring a new timeline um, which will have a lot of different aspects right now the most important thing is to anchor ourselves into the physicality so into the body moving the body um, if you feel called to it of course always listen to your intuition um, first and foremost but really coming into the physicality supporting our bodies with the changes and shift us uh, and shifts that are going on um, and being in water is very beneficial if you have the possibility for it it it, it creates a container for the body to be in uh, and there's also a lot of codes coming up from the earth which is held in the water and as I've been uh, mentioning before with the oceans where the uh, crystals have been releasing codes that are now in the oceans so being in it can actually assist the body both with a with a sense of flow and how the energy is moving and that really strong um, powerful energy in the ocean but also the codes being absorbed in the body and the body takes in what it needs 
So it's about giving the resources to the body, right? It's about um, not um, starving the body from a resource, uh, but actually just putting it in front of the body if, if it's what's presenting for you and if you feel the call to and let your body soak in what it needs. So it's about being in that state of allowance, of acceptance and being aware of where we have resistance as always, um, releasing the fear. So there's still, like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, uh, a lot of clearing of the three lower chakras and moving into more of an opening of the upper chakras. It's really important and have this in mind as you move forward. When you feel that it's starting opening more, um, you feel maybe you can, you feel more sensitive, um, maybe you, you feel more of like a clear voice or you can even hear something, clear cognizance, any of these heightened sensitivities that you can feel uh, maybe start opening up little by little. It's really important to not seek out, not be in that all the time, but to ground it in the body. So make sure that you have a flow of energy through the body and into the earth. Open through your root, going through the feet of the soles, going through that earth star, which is the chakra underneath the soles of your feet that are always uh, touching underneath the ground when you're walking on the ground, uh, connecting you to the earth. So you have an open flow through the whole body um, is, uh, is, is important. Um, and there's one more thing around the grief. There can also be grief around the old structures because we will be moving into a time now where there will be more fear, uh, well, let's say invitations to go into fear in the collective. We've been through this. Uh, we have learned a lot from the last couple of years. And we're stepping into a period where, where we will collectively see more structures falling. And as we know from our own work with the traumas and, and things uh, we've been moving through, there can be a false sense of safety or familiarity uh, or because of the familiarity with something that is not of our highest good. So for example in the same way that you feel safe or you move towards a type of relationship that is not healthy but it's because it's reminding you of something you were experiencing as a child for example growing up so there's this sense of familiarity with it and so it actually creates a false sense of security, even though it's not healthy. We can see this with the structures uh, falling in society as well. So when there's these big uh, structures that are crumbling and we see it really starts falling, it can give this sense of, but this is what I've been living in my whole life. This is the only thing I know. Now what? what how am I going to move through this? How am I going to survive? Maybe it's, it's triggering that survival instinct in us. It's really important to come back, to ground, to breathe, to be in the body and come into that creative energy because we're creating the new now. So there can also be this grief uh, triggered by what has been familiar also in the collective, even though we are aware mentally um, on, on an intellectual level that this is not our highest good. This is a structure that needs to be changed. Um, there might be a sense of grief moving as well. With that being said, there's also what we often term as past lives. Uh, and I say past in the sense that it's all happening simultaneously uh, because time and space is something we experience here in this physical world. Um, and so our understanding in this realm is that it has been a past life and that there's a future life coming because we are experiencing just this time continuum uh, where we're at right now. Um, because everything is actually happening simultaneously and because it's uh, 
it's about energies and it's about what energies we are actually um, anchoring. There can be energies that are anchored in our fields, that is so what we term as a past life, and uh, that is coming up to be cleared. Uh, I always recommend people not to be too stuck or too focused on past lives because it's a very easy distraction to go into to bypass what's present right now but in what's coming up if you're present with what is and what's coming up that might be an aspect of what's coming up now that's why i want to mention it um especially around they're showing me right now solar plexus the throat chakra the crown and the root. Collectively, there is a lot uh, of clearing that has to do with anchored um, energies or consciousness from what we term as a past uh, life experience. We don't need to know all the details. We don't need to figure this out in depth and detail. But having that awareness can help in dissolving it from our fields. And having an intention, connecting to the earth, expanding our heart and focusing on what we want to move into and see where are the energetic structures that are not beneficial for me anymore. By doing that and by clearing those and moving forward consciously with new structures, with new thought patterns, um, not being held back in those same uh, restricted patterns anymore, we are dissolving those. Um, let me see if there's something more. These layers that are clearing now are allowing us to see deeper truths within ourselves. Um, there might be sudden epiphanies coming. There might be uh, a sudden sense of clarity. And I was talking a bit about uh, more clarity coming in my last video as well. Um, and the sense of, of it emerging from within. This is because more is turning on within us and it's all in divine time um, so be present and trying to not run ahead of ourselves is really important so we're moving into a time of taking more action i've been talking about this of building new structures of getting the foundation uh, right for the time coming so we can actually move into the creation and it can flow and it can move and we can create and, and bring it into the physical because that's what's needed not only playing in the energetics or and the, the physical as a separate and not a uh, different thing we're going to bring it all together now um, and that is sort of emerging from within. We gain more clarity, we gain more ideas, and it's really important to stay focused on that. Um, there is a deeper sense of empowerment that will come with stepping into this, with this clarity, with letting ourselves actually go there um, and, and by the, the clearing and the, and the depth that is um, is coming up to be released around whatever old wound pattern uh, that we are accessing now. With the letting go of the old structures, if you're attaching or trying to hold on to something old which is about to go out of our lives or is moving out of our lives, we are only like trying to move forward with the brakes on. So 
we need to let go of it and letting go of the old all the old structures all the old um, ways and also moving beyond what has always been holding us back those patterns that has been repeating and repeating and repeating that we are now really in the depth of clearing um, that we have been going through in layers and layers the empowerment coming from overcoming those to going beyond where we once were to really stepping into more of who we are on a very physical um, level on a more um, balanced way uh, in a more balanced way so it with this inner union of uh, the feminine and the masculine moving into taking action and also staying open for the intuition all of this which uh, I was talking about in, in that last video I think it was um, and moving forward with that there is a deeper sense of empowerment we're moving into our own power um, because we're choosing to, because we're ready to. Stay true to you. There is also now uh, a saying accountability. So being transparent. The more we are moving towards being telepathic, there's no, we can't hide anything, right? So moving towards being transparent, speaking our truth, not in an opposition or trying to convince someone just because this is my truth and I'm not go like not taking any bullshit, right? Not going into any old pattern. So just going into a, um, a defensive state, um, um, or being overly just like bulldozing others because you have to like so hard grasp on and, and hold on to your your idea or your opinion that you're not in you know you're only like in one polarity or the other not in that that balance we can we are now learning to stay in that truth because we're having a deeper sense of that truth within ourselves and so we can step out in the world with that truth in a more balanced grounded uh, way and and gaining more of that wisdom that we have gained uh, throughout the process that we've been in. Distractions have been um, again mentioned as we're moving into new uh, new time, let's say, in the collective, where there will be more invitations to go into fear. There will be situations coming up. There will be. A lot inviting us to get distracted so look at where in your life you easily get distracted be aware of what are you doing when you're starting to distract yourself are you going on the social media are you just calling someone uh, or without any intention about um, behind it are you just starting to eat something are you binge watching something are you like what what are your um, your normal ways of distracting you so when you become aware of those start seeing when you are doing that and then start bringing you back yourself back in because whether you're distracting yourself with what's going on in the external or you're distracting yourself when you are actually doing your work or your forward you're in that energy of your own forward movement you're just spreading your energy all over the place and you will move forward more slowly so if we can be really aware of where we put our energy because we're having more and more energy to direct um, that is really important in the time coming there will be more of a sense of what a lot of people term as the split um, in the world so because there will be like a new uh, new experience of fear of control of you know things falling all of these uh, experiences that we have been in there will be new invitations of being controlled by it by being um, in that fear 
uh, by having those those limitations um, and also the wise we look at authorities uh, what is a leader how are the systems going to work there are so many questions around this that will will be emerging um, and there will be a very clear experience of some people really being in the in the fear uh, believing one thing and other people really building the new not buying into the stories because we're really letting the old stories go now accept people for where they're at not trying to change them uh, or convince them when they are ready they might ask you something and they might not accept it it can be a hard one um, but we can only take responsibility for ourselves and it's the accountability of what we're doing, where we're putting our energy, is going to be very evident in our lives. We are creating and manifesting much quicker than we ever have. Um, they mentioned also the old stories, especially around lack, around victimhood, um, and old habits are coming up now to be cleared. Uh, to get together with the grief um, so whether there's any old patterns structures um, or emotions or anything physical that is re-emerging uh, or surfacing it is so that you can sort of clear it i want to say once and for all yet i know we are in this continuous spiral but it's, it's such a much deeper level or layer. It's like the core wounds uh, we are working with now. And there's also um, this trap we can be caught up in if we think there's constantly something wrong with us. I just need to heal this first. I'm not worthy if, I'm not heal if I haven't healed this. I everything is not functioning perfectly in my physical body or I still have these patterns or I still have these mental structures I still haven't fixed this in my life or with myself and then we're easily getting caught up in this never-ending spiral of I just need to fix this within myself first it's important to stay focused on what's being presented in any moment work with it clear it but if we're caught up in looking for what's wrong with us we are just in that same spiral all the time so let yourself allow yourself to start moving forward allow yourself taking action Allow yourself to follow your intuition, even though you don't have all the answers. Allow yourself to feel worthy, to feel acceptance, connect with those emotions, connect with that state and just give your body a bath in it. If it's, in, if it's difficult to connect with those emotions and those states when you're thinking of yourself think about an animal maybe something in nature uh, maybe a child that just can connect you to that emotion and when you're feeling it just give yourself a bath in it just wrap yourself in that emotion just feel it work with it uh, just like anything else that your body might need give the resource you can create it um, we're learning now to start working with alchemy uh, in on a whole different level and we can access so much without it being either told to us from the external or given us in a very physical form we are learning to work with everything but we have to be in the physical we have to work with the body and um, respect the body and what it needs 
but we can work with the energy in order to give it. Um, so stay true to you uh, on your path. Remember that you're moving forward even though things are coming up. And when you feel that forward movement, when you feel that drive to do something, when you feel that inner fire, just like, I'm going to do this. I have no idea where this, moving, this is moving. I have some, some ideas maybe, but I don't have the clarity. I just want to do this. I'm just being guided to be there at that time. I'm just being guided to talk with this person. I have no idea who it is. Follow those, uh, um, those sparks of, of intuition and of, um, of inspiration because that's what's going to move us forward. Um, just step into it and honor yourself. Uh, honor the journey you're on and as always a lot of compassion for others they're moving through the exact same things um, and let yourself feel the joy of inspiration let yourself feel the joy of just being here on the earth in the moments you can if you're struggling and if you're not in something that is a struggle right now just really enjoy that you're not enjoy that right now things are moving forward i'm at this place in myself and don't let anything external drag you out of it but be present with what is um always i hope this is helpful for you guys i love reading your comments so thank you for everyone uh, to everyone commenting and thank you to everyone sharing and liking subscribing it's very helpful to to get the videos out there uh, I wish you all a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.